Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can send the contact form data in Airtable. So whenever someone fills up the form on your WordPress website, it is going to send all the data in Airtable. So basically, we are going to connect the WordPress website with Airtable. And for that, I'm going to use Show Triggers. This is all-in-one automation platform for WordPress websites. I have published many videos on Show Triggers, how you can install Show Triggers on your WordPress website and how you can automate your WordPress website or the WooCommerce website. I have also shown you how you can connect multiple WooCommerce websites with each other using show triggers and how you can send the WooCommerce order notification on WhatsApp using Show Triggers and how you can connect any WordPress contact form with Google Sheets. So in this video, I have shown you how you can send the data from WordPress website to Google Sheets. Now we are going to connect the same contact form with Airtable and we are going to send the data in Airtable. If you do not have Show Triggers account, you can create a free account on Show Triggers and link your WordPress website with many different apps in Show Triggers. Let me show you the pricing of Show Triggers, you can create a free account and in the free account, you can connect one WordPress website, you can create five different workflows and you can integrate 400 plus apps there is a pro plan which will cost you $9 per month in which you can connect five WordPress websites and you can create unlimited workflows. In the free account, you will get 1000 tasks per month. So if you are using only one connection, for example, if you are sending the contact form data to Airtable, then you will be able to create 1000 records using the free account. In the pro account, you will get 5000 tasks per month. So if you want to create an account, use my link in the description box. You can connect many different contact forms. It is not limited to one contact form you will see the list of forms here show forms contact form fluent form formidable forminator gravity happy forms jet form cadence form met form ninja form pi form so all these forms can be linked with many different apps using show triggers account so let's see how you can send the contact form data from the wordpress website to airtable do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I have already installed the Show Triggers plugin on this website. On this website, I have a mate form installed and I'm going to use the mate form to create a contact form on the WordPress website. I'm already logged into the airtable.com and I have created one table in the Airtable where we are going to send the data. If you have not installed the Show Triggers plugin, you can simply go to plugins, go to add new plugins and here search for show triggers and this is the plugin that you will need to install first but before installing the plugin you can create an account on show triggers it is free to create an account i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link to create a free account on showtriggers.com once you create an account you can install the plugin on the wordpress website and it will ask you to log in to the show triggers account you just need to link your show triggers account with this wordpress website I have already linked the Show Triggers account on this WordPress website and you can see that the same Show Triggers dashboard is integrated in the WordPress website itself. In previous videos, I have connected some apps in the Show Triggers, for example, Gmail, Google Sheet, WhatsApp Cloud API, WordPress, WooCommerce. So when you install the Show Triggers plugin, it is automatically going to connect the WordPress, WooCommerce and any other contact form plugin that you have installed on your WordPress website. All right, now let me show you the form here. This is the contact form. If I go to view, you will see the fields on this form. We have first name, last name, email address, phone number, and comments. I have created a table in Airtables where we have the same fields, first name, last name, email address, phone number, and comments. So now we are going to connect this contact form with the Airtable. So let's go to show triggers dashboard and create a new workflow and click on workflow create new workflow and just name it as form to Airtable. so whatever name you want to assign you can assign the name and click on create so this is a new workflow that we are creating now add a trigger the trigger will be the contact form when someone fills up the form the workflow will be triggered so search for the form we have met form here so i'm going to select met form and select event that will be form submitted now select a connection 
I have already connected two websites to the show trigger so I'm going to select this website which is the current website if you have paid account you can connect up to five websites it depends on the plan that you have so I'm going to select this website and it is asking me to select the form I have contact form here you will see it here this is the name of the form contact form now it says please execute the event so we need to fill up the form so that the event will be executed so before connecting we need to check whether the form is working or not you will see we are waiting for the form submitted event and this is the time limit within that time frame you need to submit the form so i'll go to the form and let's enter the details in the form let's add some dummy content here and click on send message the form submitted successfully let's go back it says we were able to detect the event and have fetched the related data as below you will see the data here the first name last name email phone number and the comment so all the data is fetched so that means the form trigger is working properly let's click on save so we have created the trigger now we need to add some actions here you will see many different actions you can connect the form with different applications so we are going to add a delay action we will add some delay select event delay for five seconds test the action so now here what we have done we have added a delay of five seconds before the next action it is not necessary to add any delay i just want to show you you can also add delay delay function is available only in the pro account now let's add another action and the another action will be sending the data to Airtable. So let's search for Airtable. You will see the option here. Click on it. And event will be create a new record. So we are going to create a new record when someone fills up the form. Select connection. We have not yet connected the Airtable with the show trigger. So click on create new connection. Now it will ask you to log in to Airtable. So I'm going to log in. I have signed up using Google account. I have entered the email address. I need to enter the password. Let's enter the password and click next. So it will ask you to grant the permission so that show triggers will be able to access the air table. And uh, click on add a base and it will ask you all the workspaces or my first workplace or WordPress form data. This is the table that I have created here. You will see it here. WordPress form data. If you want to connect only that, you can select that option or you can select all current and future bases in this workplace. So I'm going to select WordPress data, grant access. All right, so it says Airtable connected. And you will see the Airtable here, click on it. Select the base. I have one base selected. And it says select the table. And in this base, we have one table that is projects. And now it will show which columns you have there on your A table. That is first name, last name, email, phone and comments. You will see it here. All these columns are available. Now we are going to assign, we are going to map the contact form fields with these columns. So you need to add add sign here and it will show made form fields. The first name will be here. So you can select first name for the last name, add add sign then select last name this is for the email address select email address then add add sign and this will be phone number and this is for the comments all right so we have mapped all the contact form fields with the a table click on test action all right now let's click on save now we have created a workflow let's go ahead and publish it and let's go to workflows again all right so this is the workflow that we have created now we are going to test the form and let's see if that works let's fill up the form all right so i have added some dummy content here and let's click on send message it says thank you the form is submitted successfully now we have added a five seconds delay in this workflow so we are going to wait for five seconds and after that it is going to send the data into the air table let's go to air tables and wait for five seconds and here you can see that a new row has been created and all the data from the contact form is added in the air table 
I have also linked the same contact form with the Google Sheets. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to connect the contact form with the Google Sheets and the same contact form is linked with the Google Sheets. And here you can see that the same data is sent in the Google Sheets also. So you can connect any contact form plugin which is supported in show triggers and send all the data in Airtable using the show triggers. So if you want to try, you can create a free account on show triggers. I'll give you the links in the description box. You can use my link to create a free account. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.